Hey everybody, back with Naruto. I'm Naruto. Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And it is the Shippuden variety. Guys, yes. I'm trying to think. What's going to be the most hype part of this episode? Okay. Who's going to be? Is it going to be my guy? Is it going to be Kakashi? Naruto? I'm even throwing Sakura in there. What do you think? What, what's going to hit me so hard that it's going to annoy you? Composer. I think might, might go with Naruto. Mm. Like what you're doing, <laughs> Calvin. Um, the guy that we didn't know was there. What? Someone <laughs> else. You know what? The old lady. The old lady. Are we talking, yeah. wait, are we talking about the water fight? Or are we talking about the other old fight? Or either lady. fight? Either fight. I think old lady gonna do some shit. Yeah, I just don't great. know what it is. All right. I'm ready to see what happens. Lady. <laughs> she hooked. It's Pikachu. I show something else. The fairy! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! I, I like that it was Naruto's growth. And, like, we did get, like, something he learned yeah. and grew. Yeah. But honestly, simple. for an episode called Naruto's Growth, I feel like it didn't have a lot of Naruto, really. Yeah. You know, which I yeah. thought was a little odd. But well, but cool. Itachi recognized the growth. Yeah. And that's yes. what matters. And I don't know about you guys, but to me, like, I'm just as hyped for Naruto just learning a single lesson yes. as... Fucking guy sensei opening six gates. That's what I missed yeah. from Demon Slayer. Yeah. We get robbed of that. I, I, I definitely understand. Uh, this one specifically, for many reasons, just gave me a Dragon Ball feel in a very good way. Not necessarily Dragon Ball's weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Just progression and, and learning about characters through fights. Obviously, that's the shonen way. But And even, is, like, you know... Dry doesn't have a major part of the story. Yeah. Like you see how important he is to Naruto. Yeah. And while it's not about necessarily learning new techniques, but about combating the techniques you're most likely to face, right? Sure. Because I, mean, I agree, Calvin. It's like, well, he does shadow clone jutsu and he does Rasengan, and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sexy jutsu. Sexy, Sexy jutsu. jutsu. He doesn't yeah. do that anymore. He hasn't. No. He's, he's saving it. Yeah. That's he's for save it. desperate measures. That's yeah. for that's when like he, the gates. He needs no. a favor from Pervy Sage. Yeah. Like food. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's, yeah. At least so, a little older now. Rick, is this got... Now, is this the issue that you have with Demon Slayer? Or what's the comparison there? Because, like, is it that here's the issue that Naruto's in, and then it's like, oh, well, we learned how to get out of this before, and you, know, you just didn't know we so didn't know So, in Demon Slayer, he would have done it, and, like, it would have happened. Sure. And then maybe or maybe not, we see him learn it afterwards. Yeah. Okay. This is better? I think this is better. Yeah, okay. I mean, I to his point, I, I, it doesn't bother me as much in Demon Slayer as as it does you, but it is technically putting the cart before the horse. Sure. Yeah. Like in this one, like it's like, oh no, he's in this. How are we gonna get out? He must be in the dream. What do we sure. do? It's like, oh well, he learned how to do this. Uh, you he just, just didn't see it. Yeah. He was a little kid, but he's known for a long time. There are it's times like you like, want to be surprised by what a character can do. That can be awesome. Sure. Like, yeah. Vegeta just showing up to fight the androids. He's a super saiyan. You're like, what the fuck? Sure. You need those, but you don't want it to be the norm, right? Yeah. 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 No, I can agree with that. Like, it's like I like seeing the Rasengan being used yeah. and him training and trying to get it. And, like, us knowing he's training with it, mm -hmm. and then when we get to see him actually use it, we're like, oh, he's yeah. finally gotten it. Sure. And here, whenever he attacked, I guess given it was in his dream, mm -hmm. whenever he attacked Itachi, he didn't pull out Shadow Clones or anything. He just made a Rasengan. Right? Yeah. yeah. Like that well, just... I think so. Like, we didn't but, see the start of it. We saw yeah. him already coming with it. So now, I'm not 100% sure. That's why I'm like, he would have already been pointed at. Pointed at. So was he already in the dream, and can he not really do that then? That, that was the one thing I was wondering, you know? I get what you sure. Like, does that affect it yeah. at all, or can he just do yeah. that now? Like, Which can is... he do things in the dream that he, or in the genjutsu that he couldn't do? I can sure. do stuff in my genjutsu dreams that I can't do in real life. When you're lucid, well, especially. Like, yeah. Can Itachi turn into crows and fly around? I don't think in so. In the real sure. world? Or is that as a dream power, right? Is that yeah. what the idea is? That's, a Odin That's power. the idea. So, like, in that Probably. same idea, can Naruto, can he make the Rasengan on his own? Or can is that a thing he can just do now? Because yeah. it used to always be like, I make shadow clones, yeah. they do it, yeah. and then like, I had Right them. now, he just has that, like, he's, he's, he's being, like, ddos <laughs> right, with extra information. And he has to, like, clear his cash by just pausing his chakra, right? Gotta reset. Like, part yeah. of me was like, I wonder if this applies. Like, could he use the fox's chakra, pause his own chakra, and effectively do the same thing? I don't know if that's a... It's, maybe that's, like, an advanced strat. It seems like he has, to, he has to do a pause, but then he has to do a surge. Yeah. Yeah, well, like... Yeah. He's got to empty his brain of chakra. Yeah. Right? Yeah, he has to, like... 
Well, I go think to task out, manager and, and shut is, off. He stuff. has to shut the flow off for his body. He's turning it off and on again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing, too. He's responding right now to everything happening to him, whereas his opponent, Atachi, is planning steps ahead. So Naruto is just constantly playing streets catch ahead. Up. Yeah, streets ahead. It's, uh, you know, I think it's impressive for my young boy. And yes, he is maturing, but he's not yet thinking or fighting on the level of deception. Sure. He's responding. He's streets behind. Streets behind. Yeah. And who knows what Atachi's doing yeah. while Naruto's doing yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, that's all great, but nunchucks, opening gates. It was it was whenever he was counting the sharks that I kept thinking of the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm like, obviously he can do the gates, but he told, like, like I pushed Lee too far. I should never have pushed him that far because you shouldn't have ever gone past the second or third gate. And my man's on six! <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's... That's him. That's the master, that's not the, the veteran. Student. Yeah. Yeah. That's Kakashi's rival. It's Kakashi's rival, yeah. That and, has beat him more times than Kakashi has beat him. Well, and, like, Guy is a master of taijutsu, but he can do ninjutsu, right? I believe so. It's just Rock Lee that is, is the only one yeah. we know that can't do. Like, Guy can walk on the water. I don't... Can Rock Lee walk on water? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can he? No, we he saw was, him... He on... was walking on water... This episode okay. with Ten Ten and I thought last episode we had everyone else on water, but he kept landing on like rocks, rocks and ground. But I don't know because I'm positive he cannot use ninjutsu. It's at, after this, right? Unless that's changed when they break out. If that's what you're looking for, but I don't know how much rocks were around whenever he broke out and attacked. So, so he's so like is he, he he's, is probably standing on water there, right? I yeah, imagine yeah. like this has to all be water here. Yeah, but before it felt like he landed it's, on. No, yeah. But he's definitely Rocks. on water there. Hmm. So I don't know how that part works. <clears throat> okay. I think it's just the difference of being able to control your chakra and using your chakra to do hand signs and jutsu See, that See, I way. thought he didn't have chakra or something. He has chakra, he right? Can't he can't do ninjutsu. He just can't do ninjutsu, which is like a spell. He has magic. He just can't do spells. So like he can't make clones right? of himself. Yeah, he has to use chakra to open the gates. Yeah. Right? Well, um, the gates are chakra flows. Yeah. Right? So, like, there would be no point in opening the gates if you don't have chakra to flow through it. So, it's about, it's not about having the power, it's about being able to manipulate that power, I guess, right? And I would assume he could break out of a genjutsu, but he probably can't do a genjutsu. Yeah. Well, especially because he's not... He's typing. Okay. (laughs) Especially not because he's not a a genjutsu ninja. Yeah. Like, he doesn't have that technique. Like, it's not like Hunter x Hunter where there are different types the powers of powers. Type. Yeah, and like there's not opposites yeah. and, and next to it or whatever, I think. But but it does yeah. seem like it's possible to yeah. be better at one than another. And yeah. everybody watching, we appreciate that, one, you're watching this, so you're a huge fan of Naruto. You know these power systems like the back of your hand. Uh, we're still learning, even yeah. though we're, you know, we're you guys have seen now. this at least once. And we also just have uh-huh. a lot of power systems in our head that we're still learning as we go through other shows. So yeah. sure. we'll do we're our best. We're filtering this through stuff we already know. Like so Hunter, Hunter, Hunter is yeah. different than Jujutsu Kaisen, which is different than this, which is which different, different than Dragon Ball, which is different yeah. than every so other show. Rob has messaged me back. He said he can still use chakra. He just never had the aptitude for shaping the chakra in a way needed for ninjutsu slash genjutsu. Okay. Walking on water just requires releasing a steady stream of chakra for your feet for like creating like a fake friction. Yeah. So he can do that. He just can't manipulate that power output into like, you know, like he can hold a piece of paper and use that piece of paper, but he can't make origami out yeah, of it. Yeah, it's like I can make a brick out of clay, yeah. but I can't make a figurine. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> or I can extrude clay through an extruder. Which, like, man, like, what's what? weird is, like, last Change episode, I remember yeah. being like, I like that they did that Me in too. the animation to make sure he was landing on rocks because yeah. he can't stand on water. Well, it, it also, mm-hmm. uh, like, if you can, it's smart because you're saving chakra. Yeah. Right? I guess so. Sure. sure. Yeah. So. True. But, man, nunchucks. Yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't know if I was as impressed with the nunchucks as I thought I would be. You I mean, like the, the ninchaku? When he was, like, stabbing? That was the one cool part. Yeah. It's hard like to the, choreograph nunchucks, especially so against too. a giant sword. It's hard to yeah, but I thought with nunchucks. animation, like, maybe they'd be able to just do crazier stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, like, a few of his, his hits were just, they were folded. And sure. just, he was just striking. Yeah, sure. And he was just kicking and stuff. I'm like, like well, I want to see more nunchucks. Now he's got the gates. What would be awesome is if, like, you have the two sides, but the chain is chakra, and you can, like, extend it. Mm, maybe. Like a power pole. That sounds more like a nin thing or something, though. I don't know if that's a chakra thing. Maybe it is. I mean, these these are secret techniques that you keep in your family. You can just 
share, share him with Rock Lee. Yeah, <laughs> but I love when he pulled him out. I was like, oh, I'm excited yeah. for this. But that, well, I felt like it wasn't as impressive as I was. I was putting it in my head. You know, I'll yeah. grant you. Yes, I think that I'm most excited because he's such. He and Rock Lee are such a homage to Bruce sure. Lee. Bruce that Lee it's like if you have a homage to Conan the Barbarian, he pulls out his sword. Sure, <laughs> you know, like nunchucks, I think are great weapons to take down mooks. Yeah, you know, where it's just like. Hit, 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 yeah. and like do a bunch Wata! of people, yeah. but it's Sorry. it's maybe not like the best dueling weapon. Yeah. Sure, as far as choreography goes. Yeah, well, and especially against the blade he was fighting against. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Like with some of the other nunchucks, you could like capture it and like disarm them, maybe. But that thing's just so big. Like you're probably not wrapping your nunchuck and catching it or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it makes it more difficult. But I was like, the way he pulled it, I was like, he's doing his nunchaku. I'm like, oh shit, what's this gonna be? And then like it felt like he did it for like a minute and gave mm-hmm. up. Start opening gates because sharks are eating it. Yeah, but so. maybe we'll see it now with the gate, and it'll be. I mean, even Aaron, more awesome. That would be cool. Like, I would like yeah. that. Let me say it realistically. What are nunchucks going to do against a shark? Kill him. What are they? Why I mean, not? not in the water. Well, in the water is going to be hard. I mean, sure. You can poke, I guess. <laughs> sure. Like their in, eyes. In the eyes. That, that's their di- weakness. Yeah, but their eyes grow and their, back and their nose. Like they were growing back and everything. He was blowing off their noses with kicks. Sure, I get you. In the water, I get you. He, he was punching their teeth into their skull. He lost with his nunchuck before that, though. <laughs> what about Atachi's ring? Speaking of equipment, well, is it the ring or is it just the finger? Oh, it's a ring. Uh, I think it's the ring. I'm. I think it's the very same. Sure, it's the ring. I think. It's, I think it's the same symbol as what showed up on the fingernail when he was on the, the hands. Does that show up in his eye? Uh, he has ones in his eye. I think it's just his finger. Yeah, well, we're not sure what the symbol in the ring says, but that's not the same stuff he has in his eyes. Not in his eyes. What I was saying, I think that's the symbol that shows up on the hand, on the fingernail of the hand that yeah. he's standing on. Sure, it next could to be. the statue. But I don't know. Well, Rick has that, which meant. Mm, yeah, I have it. Because um, it was a Tachi's. Yeah, I do wonder, um, like how how this works. Is this tied to his eye in some way, or is it another? It's just like another I, focal point that this isn't quite the eye, right? I'm going to say it's not the ring. I think it's... You think it's the finger? I think it's his finger. Because he had said it was his finger, yeah. and also the shark guy, whatever, I always forget his name, but he has a ring as well. Kissime, right? And I don't Kissime, think his yeah. power is involved in the ring. And his sword is shark skin. <laughs> yeah. But I think the ring is maybe something okay. that the Akatsuki have, yeah. but I don't think it's the power. Itachi's was vermilion. Vermilion. Which is kind of like a purple, right? Yeah. Like his fingernails. I mean, maybe it's, uh, you know, this is just... <laughs> All right, so here's my theory. My theory is that the the Itkoski have these rings, right? And they have these symbols. Okay. Maybe that's why they're harvesting the the demons, the, the things that are inside Shukaku. Gara. Yeah, maybe they can harvest them and use, like, you know, uh, things like this ring to then use their powers in different ways. Are they going to summon Capital Planet? Maybe. Is that true? Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like, if chakra control is something that can be uh, funneled through various things, maybe they're creating these So they're making things. magic items. Yeah, maybe. Basically. Yeah. So your, your theory. Your tinfoil hat theory is that they're making magic rings to summon Captain Planet? No. It's more like uh, <laughs> Tolkien. Tolkien. And there's going to be one ring. Well, it's like you get a ring of fireballs, but now yeah. you have a ring of the nine-tailed fox. Yeah. Is kind of the idea, right? Sure, that's my theory. Well, that's my tip. Well, I think that statue's just getting off on such a yard. Aaron, we're trying to be serious here. Make sure you're serious by hitting the subscribe button, also liking the video, and let me know what you think of the theory. However, I don't go in the comments for spoilers, so you're really speaking to no one. I keep it in my fingerprint.